Uh, my name is Kumiko, today's facilitator here. Today's uh, theme is Where are we going? I get like early 1930s. Early 1930s, yeah, oh. In early 1930s, maybe because the way she's dressed, and then in America, the factory workers. Factory in, in fa America. Yeah, the mm. factory workers, and before we have this eco friendly where the air is still fresh. I like oh. how rounded and, and 3D it looks compared to a lot of the, the artwork that we've seen today. But you can also tell there's so much going on, and, and whoever created this is has a lot on his mind and very many ideas and yeah. perhaps this was painted in a time when the world was evolving so quickly like that. It evolved so quickly. Yes, oh. and it also kind of reminds me of a very Salvador Dali style painting. Um, it, yeah, the, just the multiple elements and, and the, the shades and the, the dimensions that are in this painting. Mm. Just looking in, uh, I want to understand the message of this painting again. Oh. I do kind of like, uh, this is, seems like a, a liberty, liberty statue. From liberty statue, yeah. yeah. oh. It's, it's the same liberty. meaning, I think, mm -hmm. yes, oh. but in you know, a more modern... Uh, uh, and if we look to the um, submarine, mm -hmm. it's like... My and Samari and Zeppelin bring me to the war. Oh, you, you know Zeppelin? Yes, mm. to bring me to the war. Mm. Putting all together, yes. Putting the liberty, the war, the, and, war. Uh, yes. and the factory. Factory? Yes. Making the weapons. Yeah, making mm. the weapons. Uh, I was just going to say, you, re you reminded me when you say war and the factories and whatnot. It reminds me of during the war, um, it was really up to the women to take care of their communities because the men were out fighting. And so she kind of reminds me of, um, what do you call the synchronized swimmers who like yes. dance Synchronous together? Synchronized uh, swimmers. Yes. She, she? she yeah, is? the, the oh. outfit and the look and it, the synchronization of the swimmers that she reminds me of perhaps mm. could lead to the representation of the sense of community and doing your part during these industrial um, pretty chaotic times. Yeah, if you look at it that way, to me, it's three parts of the story. Mm. Three parts. She, mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. is the happy times. Happy times. Because she's at the beach, just my feeling, she's at the beach with the seagulls, you know, maybe like you say, with some seagulls. swimmers getting everybody ready, or she's ready to dive in after she takes off her shoes she's and ready. socks. She's going to dive. <laughs> dive mm. in when she takes off her shoes and socks. And then, <laughs> yes, here time. from, Columbus to to wartime mm. and in wartime. Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you a question? Is this a okay. Japanese artist? Yes. Because for me, it looks nothing here, Japan. Yes. The okay. only thing I would imagine is the okay. fish. Okay. Good question. It uh, it's from uh, originally the magazine. Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and he she is a. Uh, you were doing Gloria Swanson, the yeah. actress. So uh, the, the artist uh, take Gloria this Swanson. and put <laughs> wow. the, the old mechanics, yeah, ship and uh, Zeppelin and ships uh, are taken from the uh, science magazine. Mm. Mm, illust illustration. But these aren't Japan, nothing Japan. From something from Dutch. Well, Germany, Germany. Because mm. I remember I said at first, is the reason I ask, is a Japanese painter, artist, because it has nothing feeling of Japan mm. or an image of Japan. Uh, probably the artist took from the mm -hmm. other mat uh, uh, me medias. Yeah. Mm. And the uh, left others, mm -hmm. yes, in, and the sea level. And uh, about that, on the sea level, what do you see? Other than mechanic items. Oh, yeah. Fish? We, we, mm. we said that. Yeah, I said the only thing that could relate to Japan would be this, the sea, mm. the fish. The fish, fish, yeah. That's, that would be it for me. Yeah. yeah. And actually, the painter, uh, Harue Koga, Harue Koga, he was born as a 
uh, the eldest son of the Buddhist priest. A Buddhist. Mm. Okay. Okay. And at the age of 20, mm -hmm. uh, he entered the priesthood and Haru E was a given name. Mm. Mm. So he painted this before he entered or while he was entered or did he come out of the priesthood? Entered at the age of 20. And, and then his father passed away, so he succeeded, but later he gave up. Oh, okay. <laughs> gave up and, and uh, devoted to oh, painting. To painting. Oh, okay. Would you like to enter the world? Sure. <laughs> so you like? I think it's fascinating. It mm -hmm. looks something that is unreal and therefore something that's intriguing works your brain a little bit. Mm. Um, if you could jump into a painting, I think it'd be quite interesting. I really like um, mystery and sci-fi kind of thing, and this kind of reminds me of that a little bit, so it is very intriguing. To me, I would say no thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's too you look so old. Yeah. It too. looks like the past, and I don't live in the past. I like mm. to live in the present or into the future. This looks like she's stopping somebody. You don't stop me. Oh. Second, the factories, what are you building? Um, wartime, I don't believe in war. Wartime. So mm. if it me, I need more brightness. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather step into a rainbow and step into a war. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so no, I pass. Interesting, <laughs> very totally yeah. different. Yeah. It's huh. interesting you say the past because for me I see it as mm. aspects of the past but put into some interesting dystopian future-like scene. Yeah. Yeah. So it's very hard to interpret and I, yes, I'm, I'm intrigued by that. Yes. I think the artists try to put the world together. Oh, uh, okay. In my opinion. To coexistence? Yes. Mm. Oh, wow. I think this but is like a so then positive, many positive. Different, pla uh, different things, uh, different plans put all together mm -hmm. and create like a, uh, a new world. Yeah. A, new, a new world? Yes, a new world like a... But then like if a, you say new world, Paul, look at this, this isn't a new world because this is so past. So is the past going to come back? Mm -hmm. Because if I look at this, um, you don't see these ships anymore, these... Um, these factories, they're all now, they're indoors. This looks outdoors. And everything I here mean, looks outside. Yes, yeah, so, I mean like, a, uh, you're right. Put like a, the, the past together. Mm -hmm. put, and look, we can see like, like uh, what was in the past and create a, a world to, together. That's, that's so, the, the yes, big picture. Yes, the big picture. It's kind of like a... Encyclopedia. <laughs> okay. so, yeah. Now we know the past. Our history, yeah. so so you can yes say so. Mm -hmm. But how about the artist at this time? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's um, very very high vision about future. How yeah. long ago was yeah. it? Do, do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> because if you ask me about the artist, yeah. I yeah. need to know how long it's yeah. been so that I can uh, uh, maybe a hundred years. It was painted in 1929. Yeah. yeah. So around the time of the Great Depression. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. That, that that time came up with Zeppelin. Yes. German yes. Nick, Ze yes. Ze Zeppelin adopted yeah. in Japan this year. Uh, That's why. Right. Su yeah. uh, early summer time. Yeah, yeah. He displayed to the exhibition mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in September. As you know, the Great Depression started uh, the late October. Yes. Yes just after the exhibition closed. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. The, so he never knows. <laughs> yeah, I think knowing it was right before the Great Depression happened, it almost gives this painting some sort of light and hope. And yeah. the fact that it holds these lighter colors does help yeah. that um, particular view, I guess. In the same, in same time, uh, very modern vision too. Mm -hmm. uh, modern vision. What do what would you want uh, for the world? What do you want for your world? A smiley face. <laughs> smiley face, yeah, of course. Mm. Colors, bright, happiness, 
um, uh, a splash of hope, a splash of peace, freedom, rights for everybody, equal opportunity, everybody have a job, everyone has friends, all in the same frame. I mean, ideally, everyone's hope is world peace and equality, but I just know peace. deep down that's just not realistic, considering there's always, I'm sorry, <laughs> there's always one person who's going to disagree, or one person who's greedy, one person who wants something, and unfortunately, those people um, tend to be in power at one time or another, and so for me, my ideal painting would not be absolute 100% perfection of world peace, but rather all of us working toward that as if it is something that can be achieved because if we just give up and stop, then the world will truly mm -hmm. go to chaos. And so... Then it would be a painting. <laughs> right. so, right. so you have yeah. to paint. <laughs> yeah. We're going to paint together. Very nice. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Then uh, at the end of the program, uh, I'd like to uh, show you a special room. Art, it's beautiful or amazing or it's a chance to give an opinion because everyone looks at it differently. But when you look at it with your eyes open, it gives you a variety of things to think yeah, about yeah. or talk about. Yeah. So it's, mm -hmm. everything yeah. had a, a topic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I really enjoyed was normally when I go through a museum um, with m so many pieces like this, I feel a bit rushed and perhaps, oh, I need to look at everything before time's over. So today it was nice to take it slow and what I would normally just brush by quickly I got to learn about each individual piece and the backstory behind them and the artists behind them. And that to me was very eye-opening and um, I'm very happy to have been here and grateful to have learned about these pieces. For me, it was really very, uh, let's say, attractive and fun to see all of these uh, pieces of art together and have to, comments together, yes, 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 yes. together, together, and I think this is, yeah, that's what yeah, I was going to say, think exactly, is the best when you go to the museum to go with your friends, yeah, and oh, stay yeah. in front of some piece you, you find interesting, and then you share, you, what do you think, and I think that is really attractive and give you a very nice time. Okay. I, ha I have to agree, um, first thing, I'd like to thank all three of you for taking us around. And you didn't tell us what it was, or we didn't even read exactly. the, the caption. You asked us, what do we feel about the art first, which I liked. So we were able to say our honest opinion before we learned about the, about the artwork. So it gave each of us a chance to say what we felt or how we looked at the film the painting or to disagree to agree yeah. and um, it, it makes me feel like art is like music oh. the more you see the more you want to see like music the more you hear the more you want to oh. hear it's a story of imagination mm -hmm. and it can take you on a journey that's oh. all How was it, everyone? Finally, I would like to introduce the National Museum of Modern Art Tokyo. The National Museum of Modern Art Tokyo is the first national museum in Japan located close to Tokyo Station. As I already introduced earlier, many works of modern and contemporary art, mainly Japanese art from the 20th century to the present, are on display. The collection includes more than 13,000 pieces. There are various genres of collections, and 15 important cultural properties are included in the museum, and it is truly proud of Japan. You will find that many tourist spots are scattered around the area, and it is full of attractions such as the Imperial Palace and Kitanomaru Park. After visiting the museum, you can also enjoy sightseeing courses 
such as walking around the Imperial Palace and shopping in Marunouchi. Please make sure to stop by when you come to Japan. I'll be waiting!